Hi, it's Jennifer from Souls or Stero, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the week of March 13th through the 19th, okay? So what do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the 13th through the 19th? Now keep in mind, the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. What do we have for cancer? Angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So you are protected by an angel. You are protected by an angel. You have an angel that is protecting you. Carrot, opportunity or windfall. It looks like it's below the surface, it's coming. An opportunity or windfall is coming. It's just about time. It's just about time for you to receive it. You are protected. Oh, I just got chills, but I get chills a lot, so I never know if it... I mean, I get chills a lot. So. Anyhow, what do we have for cancer? Opportunity or windfall coming your way. So you, it may come this week because this is, uh, you know, this is for the 13th through the 19th of March. Ooh, look at that new partner. So you may have a new partner here. This is pretty exciting. Karma though, there is some sort of karma playing out, Cancer. So, but looks like those scales are aligned, okay? They're not misaligned, so there could be karma that is coming and is in, going in your favor. You know, justice being served in your favor, right? There's a realignment that is happening, that's for sure. It is. Protection from harm. We do have a realignment here. Everything turning out as it should. There is, it's going to be a karmic week. Somebody has a new sexual partner, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. And you know, karma does go both ways. This is your reading. It would suggest to me that something's going in your favor, but you know how it goes, right? Protected from harm. There could be even news of legalities this week. You know, you could be dealing with the judicial system or whatever's happening. It's probably going to be a karmic week. Older woman. So there's an older woman involved somehow. What do we have for cancer? Strength, strength. So you could be dealing with a Leo. You may also be dealing with a Libra. Anyhow, this is the finding the internal strength to overcome obstacles, okay? Gaining some sort of strength after a period of challenges. I think you're in a strong position as well. really really looking good as well so you may be really in a position of strength internal strength and it's radiating it feels like people can see your uh energy you know they can feel your energy um a very powerful energy i feel like you're in a very powerful energy or somebody is now i gotta tell you there could be somebody i just i keep looking at this 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 mouth okay of this this tiger and it's a roar there could, i wonder if somebody is causing you some sort of issues could be a leo could be your new sexual partner i don't know 
um, you also I feel like you also have a Libra here something is playing out it's going to be a karmic week that mouth is wide open so it feels like I gotta tell you I feel like somebody's saying something you know Somebody has a new sexual partner, and it could be you, could be the person you're with, or that you've been with. There's definitely a realignment here. And a final decision is being made by going with this person, by being with this person. That's a decision, and car that, those scales are a decision. Making a decision. What do we have for cancer? Mm -hmm. I got this one too, so I'm going to take them both. Let's see about turning this light off. Didn't really help, did it? May have helped that. All right, we'll take that. Synchronicity. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity? That the spirit world has been sending to you at this time people and situations in your life are not just happening by coincidence in reality they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason now libra got this as well and we have i consider this a libra card so you could definitely be dealing with libra or you could be dealing with the justice system but either way, there's no such thing as coincidence. So, and there's angel around you. So there's some sort of angels around you that are, that is guiding somebody into your life. Okay. Somebody is being guided into your life to help you. There's no such thing as coincidence. Okay. People and situations in your life are just are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. This has something to do with strength and gaining internal strength and wisdom. Somebody is being guided into your life this week, okay? I think it has to do with an older woman. I think there's an obviously an older woman involved. Caregiver. We are with you. And spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives, just as you received care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. This does have to do with tender love and care, and it feels like you've been giving too much to others. and not taking care of yourself. So they're guiding you. Definitely have angels and spirits that are that is guiding somebody into your life to take care of you or to help you. You deserve to be taken care of. This is about healing. It is healing from something. You're going to be healing. A decision is made. This is like a healing opportunity. You're going to be gaining some sort of wisdom and strength, overcoming some sort of challenge. Hmm. What do we have for cancer? Final decision, something about a karmic contract. They're sending somebody into your life. This is no coincidence. This is gonna this is gonna give you strength. It's gonna boost you up in some way. It's gonna give you the care that you that you do so desperately need. Somebody's saying something, okay? They are. This is about healing. Hangman could be dealing with a Pisces. 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, deep satisfaction, emotional abundance. You've been waiting for this. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There's a need to let go and look at things from a new perspective. Be open-minded. Be open to change. Let go of your stubbornness. There's definitely a love opportunity here or what emotionally fulfilling opportunity. Seriously. Seven of Wands, reverse, admitting defeat. Quitting, stepping down, changing positions. There's gonna be a change in position here. Finding a resolution. We may have a compromise. There's somebody's making a compromise. There's been fighting. There's been some sort of stiff competition. Overcoming the competition, overcoming the challenges. Somebody's letting go of their ego. I feel like you've been waiting for something. Somebody in this reading has been extremely stubborn, unwilling to look at things from a new perspective, but I feel like a new perspective has been gained or it's being gained. You may have a new love or a new crush or something like that. This could make you extremely happy. This is a wish being granted. Somebody's wish is being granted. Maybe it's this older woman's wish. An older, because a wish is being granted. This is it, okay? This is a wish being granted. There's, a, there's, there's been some sort of sacrifice here. Somebody's been sacrificing themselves because of a belief. It's time to admit defeat, okay? It's time for a change. It's time to open your heart. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here, for extreme happiness. You have to believe. You do have to believe. You have to be open-minded. They're bringing you into a situation or they're bringing a person into your life to help you to heal from something that you have been, it's like you've been staying in that position stubbornly holding on to that position. There's been some sort of stiff competition, but I feel like it's over, it's ending. A cycle is coming to a close in your life. A cycle where you've had to compete and you've had to defend yourself. And I think that you've been taking care of everybody else. And it's like, it's like the karma card in this page of cups. Say this, and I think this page of cups might be you considering my little angel messages I did last night. Okay, so that's, this is you giving tender, loving care to everybody else, right? You're the caregiver, right? But you are. You're the nurse. You're the, you're the one that takes care of everybody. This is what goes around, comes around. What goes around comes around, right? Oh, I got chills again. You're going to be receiving an offer or some sort of emotional support. It, it comes in in a weird way, okay? It's, it, it is, okay? This angel puts you in a situation or brings somebody into your life that you don't expect. To help you heal from something that you've been hanging on to. It's a belief. Or self-sacrifice. Sacrificing yourself. Maybe for everybody else. Or for the belief or both. But we do have a realignment here. And it's, it feels like it's time for you to be taken care of. There is somebody here that may be attacking you or criticizing you because that mouth, it just looks like it's screaming to me, you know, and this is like under attack, caught off guard by this. So there could be, some, and maybe, maybe this person has brought you down. 
but you've been hanging on to this person for some reason. Now it could be a Pisces, could be a Leo. Or something to do with Libra. Fool, starting over from scratch. New journey begins. Leaving something behind. Going in a new direction. You will be leaving something behind. Maybe it's a sexual partner from the past. Maybe you have a new opportunity here. I mean, this is a new beginning. It is a fresh start. It's leaving, leaving everything behind. Taking the experiences and starting a new journey. Okay, proudly stepping into new territory with your head up high, leaving it all behind. You are going to be going in a new direction. This is the very beginning. Zero is the very, very beginning. It's the very first step of your new journey. You are being guided from the spirit world. People are being guided into your life from the spirit world to help you. To help you go in a new direction. To help you leave behind the past. You have a brand new beginning here. You do. You are about to step into uncharted territory. You need to have faith. You need to have faith. You need to let your guard down. Mm. Whew. Star. And you have with a wish fulfillment. A wish is definitely going to be granted. A sincere wish is going to be granted. This is unexpected help arriving, Cancer. Guaranteed success, shining, glowing in the spotlight. This has to do with your service to humanity. It's underneath the caregiver card. This is a healing energy. It's a healing love. This is about protection. You know, rejection is God's protection. So if you've been rejected, rejection is protection. This is heaven sent. This is heaven. A blessing sent from heaven is coming your way. Spiritual guidance sent from above. There's an angel here. There's an angel here. That is guiding somebody. Heaven sent. Angels from heaven. Saying goodbye to a situation for sure. That's what the fool does. This is a new spiritual journey begins. The end of a competition. The end of some sort of battle. You've been in a tough position. It's a healing energy. It's time for you to heal. It's time for you to be taken care of. So anyway, Cancer, I feel like this week you're going to be find yourself in a situation or somebody is going to be brought into your life. This is a blessing from above. There, this is unexpected help arriving. Okay? Good luck.